Good afternoon. I'm merrily printing away my um, lino prints here and I thought I might as well show you guys. Um, here's some of the ones. Um, I've done the big one that I carved with you. Um, yeah, it's quite pale, but I'm kind of liking that sagey green colour. It's one that I custom made myself. I just mixed um, all the colours together, basically. So I put it in a little pot. Hopefully it'll last a bit. I've got a sheet of um, Perspex here. got my... Um, lino cut and I've got some Osenberg fabric I like this fabric it prints well and it's lovely to stitch through if that's what you end up doing um I don't think I showed you this one I that um I can't remember what it was called <laughs> hang on um thing I did with Tori and topic graphomania I did one on the um lino drew the lines carved it and it prints really nicely actually so I thought that would be a fun one to fill in with stitch and stuff so I'm going to print that one as well with you I've got two brayers here I've got my little one and a big one for the back when I print you know when I squish it down I'll show you um yeah so it's um it's coming out slightly darker now which is much better so yeah cool and that's much nicer that um compared to we put that there. Sorry, my chair is still making stupid noises. Uh, compared to the black, which is incredibly heavy, this is much lighter and a lot better, basically. Um, I've got to be careful. I can't layer them on top of each other, so I have to turn around and put them behind me on my other table. So, anyway, here we go. <laughs> this is all it is. I say all it is. It's um, I say I use the um, speedball screen print ink which works really well so oh sorry squeaky brayer alert I had this spaced out a bit more let me just move that out. sorry <laughs> I don't know why it's squeaking it just does that I've done a load of gel printing this morning I thought well while I'm getting messy really messy um I might as well do this printing as well so uh, yeah why not I'll just smooth it out got some nice green fingers going on here which is lovely I'll give it a flip I don't know if this is the right way to do it this is the way I do it and then that's your print cool huh um for me i I don't know if there's an official time to wait. I leave it a couple of days before I um, even go to pick them up, I'll be honest with you. So, sorry about the squeaking. <gasps> Get it nice and sticky. You can hear the... stop it squeaking I'm sorry it's a pain it's just what it is yeah I think that would be a really nice color to stitch over actually I do like the grey and I do like the black actually, but um, yeah, I'm kind of liking the uh, sort of sagey green, so it's all good. It doesn't matter that it's wonky because you straighten it up when you cut out your design. I'm not a machine. <laughs> Hope 
again. There it is. Right, we'll just do some of those. Um, those things. I can't remember what they're called already. Um, yeah, Entropic Graphomania. And again, it was quite easy to do on the um, on the lino because there are quite a few little imperfections on them. So let's clean this off before it all dries on there. this colour but that is um, Versafine uh, Smoky Grey so I might try and make a grey because I love that colour but at the moment I'm just doing these green ones so yeah that's that one clean enough I'll give it another wipe later right okay let's get you inked up Quilchy. Again, I don't mind getting these little bits in. I think they just add to the print a lot of the time. They are slightly bowed, which is slightly annoying, but um, it is what it is. You get what you get. It's really pouring with rain today. It's miserable. Although I went out for a walk with Caroline first thing and um, it was very pleasant. We had a really nice walk. even cutting some bits of it I might do one of these or oh. actually what I might do is print it in Versafine then and just um, then work on it because this does take a while to dry this ink but um, cut little bits of felt into those shapes and they look quite fun I like it I think my ink is almost dry <laughs> so yeah that's kind of what I've been up to. Uh, as I say, did some gel printing first thing. Because uh, I need to make some more little um, doodle books. That's the last lot sold, just like that, which is amazing. If you're one of those people that bought one, thank you very, very much. They do take a while to make. I mean, I was at that for about three hours this morning. So I'm only going to make, I don't even think I've got enough of three. Mm, something like that I wasn't having a good gel printing day <laughs> you get days like that where it's like oh why did I even bother saying so, it is what it is right well I'll just show you this one I think I'll call it done can't really do it that way because it tends to want to ruffle the fabric. Cool. I like that. Nice bit of abstract. Right, I'm going to carry on and um, I'll do some more daisies I think now. And uh, yeah, I might print one of these in um, 
and just like stamping ink and then I'll go from there so that's it I'll see you on the next one bye